The overall goal of this procedure is to observe and quantify von Willebrand factor, or VWF, platelet string formation in response to secretagogues. This method can help answer key questions in von Willebrand factor biology and Weibel Pallady body pathophysiology. It also helps us answer questions about mutations that impair von Willebrand factor release and platelet binding function. The main advantage of this technique is that it recapitulates the in vivo interactions between subendothelial collagen, endothelial cells, VWF, and platelets in a visual and quantifiable in vitro system. I feel that visual demonstration of this method is vital. The required microscopy steps for capturing VWF platelet string formation under multiple simultaneous conditions in real time can be difficult to master by text alone. Begin by loading 0.5 milliliters of collagen coating buffer into a 1 milliliter lure lock syringe. Twist the end of the syringe onto the reservoir of a flow chamber slide and depress the plunger slowly until the entire lane is coated and each reservoir is full. Top up the reservoirs to ensure each one is full. When all of the lanes have been loaded, incubate the chamber at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. The next day, use a 200 microliter pipette to remove the collagen coating buffer. Then, rinse each lane with HBSS, aspirating the saline with a 200 microliter pipette. After the third round of HBSS has been discarded, add approximately three times...